hi guys uh it's the crypto guys and uh, today we are going to talk about an ico that is called arc block so uh, what is arc block arc block is uh, a decentralized uh platform for uh for the applications and uh, <clears throat> if if you talk about the current blockchains uh what are the problems that uh, current blockchains are facing uh before that let's talk about what was the vision the vision while creating blockchain technology the entire concept of us to enable seamless and borderless transactions and without uh without increasing the transaction fee a lot but uh, what actually happened is contrary to this belief if you take uh bitcoin uh the transaction fee for bitcoin went up to 0.001 0.003 btc of uh, which is close to which was close to uh 540 even more than that in terms of dollars a few weeks back and uh, for people living in developing countries take for example me uh <clears throat> uh it's equivalent to 2700 3000 rupees which is enough for uh for me for a person like me to survive for two weeks and uh, <clears throat> so this is just a transaction fee if i am required to pay 3000 in transaction fees i definitely not go into transferring bitcoin i'll keep it as an asset same <clears throat> goes for ethereum for a game called crypto kitty a crypto kitty is crippled the ethereum network to an extent that you know uh, it took 3 to 4 days for transactions to run <coughs> so think of what was envisioned in uh, cryptocurrency world and what is it that we are actually getting <coughs> now arc block is here to solve it uh, another problem that we face is uh the current systems that are built are built mainly for uh, you know uh creating the functionality and not for the user experience so because of this the user always feels that you know uh, i'm not getting what i used to get in the normal uh, fiat running because they are getting a better user experience in those things whereas uh, uh current blockchains have not still not enabled that plus the <clears throat> the blockchains currently are built for tech wizards people like vitalik trin but for people like me people like the crypto guys it's not possible to interact with one such blockchain so arc block is going to solve all these problems and i'll tell you how <clears throat> in the next slides one is problems yeah these are the current problems with the blockchain one is poor performance i already talked about this and they are not consumer friendly they are built for uh they are built for tech wizards they are not built for normal people normal people like us then the cost of trans cost is very high if you want to build a built an application over the current blockchains it's the cost is very high considering the price and the transaction cost of bitcoin and ethereum it's just getting impossible uh it it is just creating an entry barrier for people like us then uh, the problem of platform lock in if you have uh, built a program based on ethereum blockchain it will work only on ethereum blockchain or and if you have built it for bitcoin blockchain it will work only on bitcoin economy um, so this is the problem of plat and, uh, <clears throat> and lack of features the focus currently uh, although we feel that there are a lot of features but it is still the beginning uh, blockchain economy is still in the nascent stages art has to be done on this so <clears throat> how art block solve solves these problems one is platform service it is open source so <clears throat> kindly it uh, so it kind of makes it suitable for anyone to access and uh, uh, it reduces the entry barrier then it is an incentive driven market where the infra is reusable you know reusable uh, uh reduces the cost multifold so uh it is run on blocklets as i'll i'll talk about the blocklets later and blocklets are uh, small blocks of programs which can be reused so it's not just that you know uh if if i make a program you only i can run that so 
the good thing that these guys have done is uh, uh, the blocklets is an innovation because it enables uh, people across the world to use uh, blocklets and uh, uh, a not a lot of time is based on ba- building the basic functionality of a product see for example i bu- i built a payment interaction uh, blocklet so uh, the same payment interaction blocklet can be used by somebody else as well there's no need to you know uh, reinvent the wheel and then there's open chain access protocol this solves the problem of a uh, platform lock in uh, along with blocklet of course so open chain access call enables uh, arc block to transact with uh, any of the blockchains be it ethereum be it blockchain be it any blockchain it enables you to interact with that for that there are chain adapters as well which are uh, which is another uh, another innovative technique that is used then there there are blocklets blocklets are written to uh, blocklets are small programs which are about a small functionality any small functionality in an app you can call it a blocklet so this is something new that uh, our block is doing they are creating blocklets which can be reused by other uh, applications since this is a platform for decentralized applications so a number of apps can be built on our block and <clears throat> and it's it, it's so good that you know uh, they are building reusable infra which can be used by any of the applications so uh, so it may, it reduces the development time and uh, a platform can be launched easily and it also reduces the cost that goes into building a marketplace or building a program so uh, what are the advantages one is it is self evolving and driven by token economy so tokens here are not used to uh, pay the user or pay the creator it is used for accessing the platform but uh, the creator also has a, an option to pay, uh, pay the tokens to the end user so the focus here is on user experience on creating the user experience so for example if somebody has uh, made a very good blocklet for some interaction for some functionality the same can be used by uh, other people as well and uh, it it's trying to make it easier to experience and uh, uh, you know uh, make it simpler it can be run on cloud or on single computer uh, <clears throat> taking it on cloud makes it uh, one improves the transaction rate and second it gives access from anywhere uh, on single computer also you can use our block but um, it doesn't make any sense because uh, how, because of how the internet expenses have gone down and how cloud has improved so it doesn't make sense so on single computer it it will be used majorly for testing purposes only this is what i think and this is what our block thinks the application can change um, but yes our block is open for that and it has open standard so, <coughs> so uh, how does how does the entire thing work uh, this for example is a block blocklet blocklet is a small uh, batch of program small program that is written for one functionality in the system so uh, this is just the basic explanation if you want more details you can also refer to the white paper and uh, a blocklet accesses uh, the blockchain through open chain access layer and chain adapter open chain access layer enables uh, multiple blocklets to interact with the blockchain and chain adapters connect the open chain access layer to the blockchain and enables to change the you know to use any blockchain um, not just our block but any blockchain and so what uh, we already talked about the problems of transactions that we were facing in with bitcoin and ethereum uh, so this is one comparison bitcoin is giving seven transactions per second Yeah, so Bitcoin is giving seven transactions per second. Tail equal for twenty four thousand. Although Bitcoin will give only three to four transactions, which is what we are experiencing for the past three four months. And Arc Block is enabled 
to uh, enable for uh, enable for a thousand transactions per second you know uh, <clears throat> what what were we thinking earlier that you know what was the vision we already talked about the vision with which the blockchain was created the entire concept was created and arc block i takes us closer to that vision so since uh it it was still in the nascent stage this is one thing uh that arc block is done very good that any they are enabling 1 lakh transactions per second and this is going to change this is going to improve the acceptability of the entire cryptocurrency world so don't look at it as an, just another platform this will help the entire economy the entire crypto economy in understanding that the vision with with which that it was created the vision that was that seemed to be lost when bitcoin transactions rose to 40 45 dollars per transaction uh that that lost trust in the system will come back and uh, and definitely in future it is going to help us a lot a lot not not just let's take a look at this is their white paper and first we'll take a look let's take a look at this website or the public sale will start on 3rd of february 2018 and uh, still 9 days left this is the token distribution model total 186 million abt are to be created not more than that and no no inflation to be uh, accounted in that all tokens will be pre minted and maximum token amount for sale is 45% uh 8% is for partner support 15% team and 32% for miners uh which will be community rewards in the uh, in the arplock system so <clears throat> miners are ones who uh, who lend their computing capability or who lend their uh, infrastructure who lend their blocklets so uh, miners are not traditional miners who are keeping the machines keeping the miner machines and running them it's the creators it's the creators uh who will be rewarded in the entire ecosystem the soft cap is 12000 ether and hard cap is 37500 ether plus 6 million gm so the maximum for private sale is 25000 ether ether they also have a private sale running for private sale the kyc was required which is just closed yesterday it was open it just closed right now this morning i opened up and you know i just saw that the private sale kyc is closed now so the public sale begins on 3rd of february and uh, one e will be equivalent to 1900 abt and <clears throat> yeah so uh, the public token sale is yet to start on 3rd of february this is these are the features we have already talked about built for the token economy optimized for best user experience built for the cloud and it has an open standard built on an open standard and this is the open chain access protocol it provides an abstract layer for and accessing the underlying blockchain so we have already discussed this and uh, yeah this is the road map q1 we started with the concept development q3 they designed and implemented the mobile and web clients with the centralized pub sub gateway so uh, the plan the road map doesn't look very long on uh, the main official release of the open access open chain access protocol is in 2018 and adapters for ethereum and hyperledger as well so 2018 is the plan you know this is when uh, the platform will be uh, functional with minimal functional minimum minimal required functionality and this is the five year plan you can go through it and so uh, we have heard uh, vitalik buterin talk about daos uh, daos and daico so 2022 is when arc block become national service for the dao this is what uh, was envisioned and you know it looks looks like it is already happening now and these are the advisors members of the linux foundation hyperledger enterprise actually these are the partners and media we have already talked about most of these things in detail this is the token economy uh our block token will be native and uh dedicated to arc blocks own token services 
which is more than adequate and uh, arc is designed for general purpose token that can be used in different scenarios uh, let's just go and read through this the ebt's basic utility is to pay for the cost of using the arc of block blockchain um yeah this is what we talked about uh, don't take this as an investment advice <clears throat> I you uh, my opinion this is not a professional investment advice i am telling you my opinion of what i think about arc block i think that this is going to change the future of uh, entire cryptocurrency economy and it is going to take the blockchain economy closer to what was envisioned in the beginning by satoshi nakamoto or by butrin <clears throat> arc block is taking it closer to that vision so uh, in my opinion it will go multifold right on right on the launch date but um, <clears throat> do your own research and take your own call and invest what invest what you can what you can you know uh, invest in this so so much guys